not too many other careers that you can come down and spend time on the water uh, and they let you play with big boats. We're on pilot station right now. We're about uh, 20 miles offshore from the Verrazano Bridge. I'm gonna go and go off to board the ship and I'll see you later. I like to tell people when I meet them at a party that I deliver gasoline or I deliver oil. I just do it at four million gallons at a time. And what we're doing is we have an inbound container ship right now. The pilot boat is going to work over towards the container ship. And I'm going to get on board the ship and pilot the ship into the berth up in Port Newark. And uh, we do this 24-7, 365 days a year. Uh, ships are always coming and going. We are expected to wear a tie, a dress shirt, slacks, and appropriate footwear. The business came around in colonial days. Uh, the first license was issued in 1694. The ships needed guidance coming in, so they hired these maritime men to go out and actually guide the ships in, and they were paid by the ships. Over the years, it grew into what you see today, the United New York and New Jersey Sandy Hook Pilot Benevolent Association. A lot of us, it's in our heritage that we do this. Uh, my dad was a pilot, uh, his uncle was a pilot, and his father was a pilot. We take it very seriously. It's a five-year apprenticeship, five-and-a-half-year apprenticeship right now from when a young man or woman comes into the association. Generally, they have a license already, so they spend their time studying and riding ships and crewing the boats and learning the trade. Uh, they ride with the pilots. Uh, they have thousands of passages under their belt by the time they become pilots. And even after they become a pilot, it's still another seven years before they can actually get on the biggest ships that come into the port of New York. One watch is generally two ships. We'll take one ship out and then rest on the pilot boat for a couple of hours, get something to eat, and then we'll take another ship back in again, and then we'll go home. Those beautiful sunny days at, on a Tuesday in the summertime, that's wonderful. But the phone also might ring at 3 o'clock in the morning on Christmas morning. And it's snowing and sleeting and there's 12 inches of snow on the ground. You have to go to work when the phone rings. There's not too many people who can say they've been in the same job for 37 years and still get excited to go to work. I still love coming to work after all these years.